Rose is up in the tower room digging out the checkered tiles and we're also going to take the bricks out. They're raised up slightly because I want it all flat. Uh, we won't be using it as a fireplace, um, so there'll just be something decorative in, so you, you will be able to see these. But I'm just having a play around with them, trying to work out a pattern, but it's a bit like a jigsaw really. Um, I think we'll end up with a border round in the burgundy. I don't know whether these will go diagonally like these ones. Um, I don't know if we'd get some of those off without breaking them because they're bedded onto cement. But we, we've got loads anyway. I, I was thinking maybe this was from a porch because um, we've got some cadastral plans that it looks like there is a porch on the back and there's quite a few tiles there um, and I also found two stones, white stones, um, that look like they were part off the top of a porch. They look sort of a Georgian style. Well, we'll show you those. Um, yeah, so I'm just trying to work it out really. Right, well I've taken these uh, tiles up. Um, I'm leaving Susie to it. She's uh, putting together one big jigsaw puzzle. Uh, she's just trying to work out the best way to use those tiles. Uh, so I've brought you into the bathroom. Um, as you can see, we've got these checkered floor um, tiles in here, but we are short in here. Uh, to my left here, uh, where the BDA is, there's a lot of damaged ones. So we've got to replace those. Um, now, all of these have got to come up at some time because we've got to re-plumb the whole of the chateau, including the bathroom. And we're going to obviously have to go under the tiles. So these have all got to come up. So hopefully we'll be able to get these up in one piece. Um, one or two in, in the tower room were broken. So that's why when I pulled them up, there was no saving them. They were already broken anyway. But the ones that were complete all came up okay. So I'm hopeful that we can um, bring these up uh, without damaging any. Um, now this unit's gonna go, we've got a bigger unit downstairs that's gonna go in here, a nice oak unit. Um, but I can see the tiles go, they seem to go all the way underneath here. Now we don't need to tile under that unit. So basically there's more tiles under here that we can use. The bath, we're not sure how far those tiles go. 
because um, there's a there's a bath panel there. But we'll get a roll top bath, uh, a nice ornate looking bath. Um, so we won't have a, a a bath panel. So hopefully those tiles go all the way to the wall. Otherwise, we're going to need quite a few for there. So. We're not sure whether we'll have enough, but if, if there's any way we can save this floor and use it in here, then we will. Um, if not, we'll, we'll think of somewhere else to put them because they're really nice. We quite like them. Um, so yeah, so they're all up. So now I need to think about getting those um, bricks in the middle of the hearth up. And I'll leave Susie to do her um, cogitating. <laughs> so this is something I've played around with um, you can't really see it the color very clear from up here but it's gray in between the patterns but I think I might do a gray then a burgundy alternate them we'll, we'll see but we've got burgundy edging around the outside Now we're hoping we've got another use for that. Okay, well I've um taken all the bricks out and I've I'm now below in, in most places I'm below the wooden floor level um, this is all rubble it's not actually bricks it's just all rubble with a bit of concrete on top so I'll, I'll remove all that and then I'll get all these out of the way um, yeah I hope she doesn't change her mind <laughs> bit late <laughs> um, and obviously where this joins the bottom of the granite, I'll have to clean that up because um, that will all be exposed now, the bottom of that granite. Um, I mean, you remember me cleaning this fireplace and um, for any new subscribers, I didn't want this to look new. I was quite happy to leave the history of the fire, the fires that have been lit in here over the years. So I cleaned it up because it was really, really black and I, I decided I didn't want to clean it any more than that. So, you know, I want it, you know, this has been lit and uh, used for centuries, possibly. So I didn't want to lose that. Uh, but I think um, a completely flat hearth will look really nice with those tiles. Um, and, and I know we've said it, we're not going to use it as a fireplace anymore. This is a bedroom. It's upstairs. I'm not going to keep walking up here every evening to put a couple of logs on. Um, 
and we won't need it. We're going to have electric radiators in here. So, you know, we might as well level it off. And that'll make it look a little bit bigger, I think. And I think it'll look really ornate. So, yeah, I think that's going to be the right call. Right, I'll finish off. I'm uh, just waiting for three o'clock and because at three o'clock the electric board are going to cut off all the electric from this end of the village uh, whilst they do some um, urgent maintenance um, and that's going to be off for one hour but that's giving me a one hour window of opportunity up there. Um, I think I've shown you previously but the wisteria that was growing up here is all very uncontrolled and the old vine uh, a lot of the straggly bits have ended up wrapped around the um, electric cable, the incoming electric cable. And quite frankly, it's been a bit dangerous for, um, for me to remove them, just in case. Although the wire looks in good condition, um, you never know. Whilst it's scheduled to go off for an hour, um, I'll only need five minutes up there. But Susie will keep her eye on the electric and as soon as it, if it comes back on while I'm up there, she'll let me know straight away. So, any minute now. So it's electrics off. So, here we go. Yeah, it's the old telephone wire which has been disconnected. So we don't need it. We don't anticipate having a landline. So I've just tucked that out of the way. Oh, well, that was a useful exercise. So uh, the electric will be back on shortly. And I've taken this old telephone wire down. Um, it's disconnected. We haven't got a landline. We don't want one. And it's an old fitting, so it probably doesn't even work anyway. Yeah, another one out of the way. Um, that could do with straightening up a bit, but I can do that whenever. Great. So whilst we're around here, I thought I'd show you this in more detail so you can kind of put it in context with where it is. Um, I, th I found these stones around here and I think they're off, maybe off of a porch. And so I was wondering if those tiles, there was a porch here because um, if you have a look on the cadastral plan, which we'll show you, yeah. um, there was some structure here wasn't there yes uh, we've no idea what that structure is mm. uh, we've drawn a blue circle on the cadastral plan so we're effectively in the middle of that blue circle now just um, for, for reference yeah because there's just a funny lump of concrete here yeah with, with so, a... yeah i mean something was here but we don't know what we can't we can't see anywhere on there because they've had it rendered probably yeah. since then yeah so 
don't but know. It's curious that we've got two of these pieces and they were both found around here, submerged under the I, soil. I just wish um, we had photos of this place as it used to be or more history on it really. Yeah. They, they look more sort of Georgian looking. Yeah, I, I guess so. I uh, unless they were off of some um, plinth, you know, like a planter or something, I don't know. Yeah, possibly. I've no, Any thoughts? Hmm. This week, Benji and Fleur had to go for their vaccinations, boosters, yeah. and get some web tablets. And the association we got them from pay for this because we're actually their fosterers. Um, we're, we're permanent fosterers because of their age. Um, they're 14 next month. And it's really hard to home, rehome dogs at that age, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and as we said, his... Um, their owners had to go into a care home because he's disabled and he couldn't look yeah. after them anymore. And the association stepped in because he didn't know what he was going to do with them. So, um, oh, here comes trouble. Here comes trouble. <laughs> he's just... Anyway, um, to cut a long story short, um, they've both got to have teeth out. They haven't got many left, but um, they've got gingivitis and actually back and Benji's teeth are quite bad the gums bleeding and yeah. stuff so it's going to cost um, about 350 pounds I think euros uh, 350 euros yeah. um, to have the fangs out and clean whatever else they've got left if they're okay and the association are going to do a fundraiser to try and raise some money because obviously they have lots of dogs they have to pay out for stuff and um, with, if any of you are interested in helping them out, uh, we'll put a link on at the end of the video. Yeah, I mean, they do do such a great job, but of course money mm. is pretty scarce. I mean, we, we couldn't have afforded um, to take them on if, um, no, if no. we had to pay the vet's fees because we've got these three to pay for as well. Yeah. So, uh, um, but but so we, we wanted to give them a home and care for them. Yeah. We buy their food and stuff. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're, they're having their final teeth out, I'm afraid. Well, no, I don't know if they're all coming out because they have got some bottom teeth. Have they? Oh, I thought yeah, they only I'd, had the fangs. Uh, no. Oh, okay. Well, Benji yawned the other day and I could see two bottom ones. I know oh. Fleur has, but they're, I have to keep cleaning their faces because they dribble all the time right. because the teeth are bad. So, it's got so, if, um, sorry. so it's got to be done. Yeah. So if you... Um, Consider helping this charity out with a small donation. We'll yeah. leave the link. Um, and they do association en route. Association en route. Uh, there's lots of associations in France. Yeah, there is. Them, and they all work tirelessly. So It costs um, a lot of money to yeah, look after sure. them. So Max. anyway, on that note, um, we shall say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> See you next time. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Max. Get us pants. <laughs>